Start by connecting to the mount. Here, we are using a wired USB connection. Choose StarSense alignment, which allows the StarSense autoguider to automate the alignment process. Set the mount to its initial home position. Since the CGX has home position sensors, simply click on the ready button. If the StarSense autoguider has never been center calibrated to the telescope, then do that next. You'll then be prompted to polar align the mount with assistance from the StarSense autoguider. In this case, we're already center calibrated and polar aligned, so we'll move on to sky alignment. Choose Auto 4 Points for a completely automated alignment process. The mount will now begin automatically slewing the telescope around the sky to capture four alignment references. You can see the pointing references generated in the pointing model information window. The entire process takes just a few minutes, mostly just the time it takes for the mount to slew around the sky. When complete, select an object to image. Let's choose the North American Nebula as our target. That's a spectacular summertime object to image in the Northern Hemisphere. The mount will slew to the object. Then, the StarSense autoguider will take over and precisely center the object in the camera's field of view. Turn on autoguiding in the StarSense autoguider menu and you're ready to start imaging. It's that easy. Use your camera control software to open the camera shutter to begin collecting photons. In this example, we'll use a 60-second exposure. Note the sharp stars in the image, a testament to how well the system works. The StarSense autoguider makes imaging with your Celestron mount easier. Spend less time fussing with your imaging setup and spend more time having fun enjoying those clear skies. <laughs>